So if you've ever stayed in a nice hotel, you know that it can be a real treat. Plush bedding, those fancy little soaps in the bathroom, and the $7 sodas in the minibar. Well, anyway, all those things can go a long way towards making you feel like a real VIP. Until, that is, you connect to the guest Wi-Fi, and it's so slow that it makes your fancy laptop feel like something right out of 1995. But why is hotel Wi-Fi often barely functional, even at high-end resorts? Let's start with the obvious, volume. Unlike at home, where you might only have a few people connected to your network at once, hotels have to handle hundreds or even thousands of connected devices. <laughs> But come on, John, it's not like these hotels don't plan to fill all the rooms with guests, so surely they can account for this, right? Well, you're right, they could. But part of the problem is due to the business model of hotels, which tries to draw people in with visually appealing rooms, common areas, hot tubs, continental breakfasts, you name it. This means if optimized network infrastructure doesn't look flashy in the brochure, it can often get pushed to the bottom of their list of priorities. So because of this, their setups can end up seriously flawed in a number of ways. For starters, when's the last time you saw any routers or access points just hanging around the resort? Hotels often cram their equipment into closets, maintenance areas, and even ceilings, so things don't look too messy. But trying to hide it behind a bunch of obstacles can reduce signal strength, and therefore range and speed. And many hotels also use older equipment that they're in no hurry to replace. For example, hotels often sign contracts with outside companies to provide equipment and services for a certain length of time, sometimes years. So if a hotel has a bunch of routers and access points deployed that only support older standards, replacing them can be very costly depending on what the contract says. And it isn't like new equipment is cheap to begin with. And if your hotel is using older equipment, chances are it's only offering a connection on the congested 2.4 GHz band, which is compatible with almost all Wi-Fi devices, but is more susceptible to interference than the newer 5 GHz band when lots of devices are in close proximity, which would happen at a hotel. The hotel's network might also be using 802.11 N routers that don't have as much throughput as newer standards like wireless AC. So when you combine all this with the fact that the hotel's high-speed internet connection is being split across hundreds or even thousands of guests, it can result in serious bottlenecks. But hold on a minute. Wouldn't it make more sense for the hotels to just spend money on better hardware and attract visitors with fast Wi-Fi? Well, some hotels are indeed doing this, but many others are still, for some reason, holding on to the idea that shoddy Wi-Fi will get customers to give up watching movies and other, um, stuff on their laptops or tablets, and instead spring for hotel-provided pay-per-view. And although it's pretty easy to see that hotels will probably have to give up on this at some point, what can you do in the meantime if you're stuck in a place with slow Wi-Fi? Well, a good investment to make if you're a frequent traveler is a small wireless router that you can take with you. You see, many hotel rooms also offered wired internet access, often over that ethernet port that you find hiding next to the lamp. Plug a router into it in AP mode, and bam, you have your very own Wi-Fi network. And since you likely won't need a signal outside of your room, an inexpensive, short-range solution will probably do, especially if you use the less crowded 5 gigahertz band that we were talking about before. And if you're really pressed for space in your tiny travel bag, there are even travel-sized routers that are little more than just a single Ethernet port plus an antenna. Another option is to simply avoid staying at hotels with poor Wi-Fi in the first place. There are websites that have popped up specifically to crowdsource estimated speeds of hotels in many different cities. So if you're going to need a reliable internet connection on your next trip, keep these listings in mind. Just make sure you also look at the rest of the reviews. You don't want to rush to book a hotel with fast Wi-Fi for Netflix, only to feel something unexpected biting at your legs when you try to... chill. And speaking of trying to chill, are you finding yourself never having any time to chill because you're always racing against the clock as a freelancer? Well, that's challenging, but with the growth of the internet, there's never been more opportunities for the self-employed. So to meet this need, check out FreshBooks cloud accounting software, designed for the way you work. It's the simplest and easiest way to be more productive, get organized, and most importantly, get paid quickly. Create and send professional-looking invoices in less than 30 seconds, and set up online payments with just a couple of clicks and get paid up to four days faster. Automatically see when your client has seen your invoice and put an end to the guessing games, no matter 
matter whether you run a landscaping business, a production company, maybe a website where you talk about hotel Wi-Fi speeds, whatever you're doing, FreshBooks can handle it. FreshBooks is also offering a 30-day unrestricted free trial to our viewers. To claim it, just go to freshbooks.com slash techwiki and enter techwiki in the how did you hear about us section. All right, guys, thanks for watching this episode as fast as possible. Like it if you like it, dislike it if you didn't. Leave a comment with your ideas for future videos. Check out our other channels. Check out Channel Super Fun. Maybe we'll do something super fun at some point with little hotel soaps. Maybe we'll buy some things from a mini bar. That'll be super fun and super expensive. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, don't forget to hit subscribe, and we will see you next time.